Good evening and welcome back guys. We had a little bit of a struggle in the last match but we did get three points against Atletico Madrid with a very narrow 1-0 win against them and the games do come thick and fast as you can see lots of tired bodies on the bench and in the squad. We're at home to Real Betis today we've got a Copa del Rey match coming up soon but I think there is a week between this match and the next one so should have a little bit of a rest there. And I suppose I'll just look at the key points. It's a full strength line a bar a couple who we would normally pick. Given Messi and Diaby a rest, Mudrick's going to come in on the right hand side. Modric is replacing Fabio Vieira in that attack midfielder position and we've got Lavaro coming in place of Cosinu in defence. Good to be back at home and a daytime fixture which you don't get a lot of in this game. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened in the last match which is very it's a very tough game. It was Atletico Madrid and they did sort of play like you sort of expect to in real life. Um, very attritional sort of game. Not too many chances. Got that 1-0 win though. And we're still 9 points clear of Real Madrid. Now there's a massive gap to Atletico. I think we're like 20... About 25 points ahead of them. In that third spot. But let's hope for... Not just more goals, but better play. We just were not fluent at all. Um, it just wasn't clicking. Players were passing and it just wasn't... They weren't clicking with each other like I say. Mudrick starting on the right for a change today. Modric in as well. That's a poor pass to start with. But he's been playing well. He's been coming on as a sub the past couple of games and he's really looking impressive. Obviously a regen. So his stats aren't anywhere near as what he, they would be when he was, um, I suppose, a normal player. Is that what you want to call it? Is it his normal self when he was, you know, like 30 odd years old? But they'll get there. He's going to be some player for the future. Mudrick's been missing a couple of matches. Mostly because he's been on... He was a downward red in the last match. Otherwise he probably would have played. Pedri hasn't been at his best self the past few matches. Here he is. Oh my word. What a finish that is. Just as I'm saying, he's been a little bit missing. Not terrible. He'll still be getting sort of 6, 6.5s. But that's more like it. Nice play there. Gets it back from Martinelli. But what a strike with his left foot. He's equally as good with either foot, really. One thing we looked at when we bought him. You can turn either way. What a finish. What a strike. Yeah, so because of that, he can just he can turn either way and he plays fairly central, at least in our team. You can play it wide as well. Um but I love him in that central role. A pivotal role behind the front three. And he roams around. And he provides so much support, but he, he, like you see there, he can score a goal. Nice playing to Castro, who gets tackled out. Oh, nice closing down from Mudrick. It's one of the key pieces of our game, actually, is the closing down, the pressure we put on, trying to win the ball back high up the pitch if we can. Nice tackle from Trippier. Oh, just gets blocked there. It was a nice idea from Castro. There wasn't much support on his right hand side, so he tried to go left. Nice block. Again, Mortnally, captain for the day. Got so many good players now. It's weird to think where we started. We started with our default team, remember. You know, the one with the fake players. I love starting as that because it's such a struggle at first. And then you see a few years later, we've got to this stage. It's, it's quite ridiculous. Mudrick, good save there. But, you know, we haven't gone out there by spending loads of money at first. Now we're in a position after doing well that we can spend a bit more money. But we didn't get there because of that. We had to be very shrewd in who we signed. You know, the likes of Vieira didn't cost a lot. 
Herrera, the defensive midfielder, you know, Schubert, the goalkeeper, not really players that you think of superstars or anything like that. I was going after young players that we could develop with the team and build around. So we had a good core sort of central lineup there. The, the first three signings were Schubert, Pierre and Herrera. And they made such a difference, but we still had a lot of weak positions as well. We just built it up over the seasons. And obviously now we're in this position where we need to get regens. So we've got the likes of Messi and Modric and you know, Noyes who who's in the squad, people like that. Because you need to, want, if you keep playing this game long enough, you're going to have to get regens. Um, I like to focus on youth players. So here is Modric, such a good little player. And now we're on a position where we can spend a bit of money, like I say. You know, we got Pedri, which is one of the most ridiculous signings I've ever made in terms of money. Oh, nice play. And Modric gets another goal. He scored as a sub, I think it was two games ago. And that's another great strike. He's such a good technician. Nice play by Pedri. Modric into Modric, but what a finish that is. Pure strike. Very similar to the one he actually scored the other day in terms of the, uh, the actual finish. It's took us 36 minutes to get the second, but it's a bit more like it. This is what we didn't have in the last match. It's what we normally do, is we normally score plenty of goals and we normally play well and score decent goals, uh, especially team goals. Oh, hang on. Well... I don't know where that came from. I'm too busy talking. But that's not good defending. Lovato just couldn't... Yeah, just not strong enough. Well. That's uh, throwing a cat amongst the pigeons there, isn't it? Anyway, we should be still good enough. We're still 2-1 ahead. Nice ball into Castro there. Hasn't seen too much of the ball. Pedri. Oh my word. <laughs> what an unbelievable strike from him again. Wow. It's a lovely turn, but look at this. Hits the crossbar twice and goes in. What a finish. Very satisfying. He just bounced over the line. What a strike with his left. And very satisfying when it does hit the woodwork and go in. I mean, Pedri's clearly going to be man of the match today, isn't he? He's absolutely running the show today. That's a foul, isn't it? How is that not a foul? I think it wins it back, but gives it away. What is going on here? I'm trying to clear it, and they just won't let me do it. Half time, though. Pedri with a, a great double strike. Certainly entertaining in the first half. Not looking impressive defensively, though. Lovato with a couple of mistakes. I've got to say, I'm not overly impressed with him. He's 83 overall rated, so he's a very good defender technically. Um, whenever he plays, I'm just not that impressed with him. Gavariel with a poor pass. Do you know what it is? I, I don't know, but every time I try and run forward with Gavariel and play a pass, I know he's a defender, but he seems to uh, give it away sometimes. That's obviously on me, but nice play to Martinelli. Now back at Luka Modric. Oh, nice play. <laughs> and it's 4-1. And Castro, who hasn't been involved too much, actually, and relatively quiet. It's all bypassed him. It's been mainly in the midfield and, and out wide. 
Nice little intricate play. Modric heavily involved. Martinelli back to Modric. And he's always going to score for me. A nice first touch to take it away from the defender. Fox in the box. Modric has played very well today. Obviously he's got that goal. He's got an assist there as well. Himself and Pedri in those further sort of forward positions have been absolutely outstanding. Bellingham hasn't had too much to do. Um, it's been mainly those two attack midfielders that have run the show today. Here's Martinelli. Castro. Back to Martinelli. Castro again. Oh, the touch just takes it away from him. Oh. Then he just falls over. Just lost his foot in a little bit. Could have had a second. Good tackle from Schubert. And that's a foul. I'm happy to give that foul away, though. Ah, not a yellow. Honestly, referees are terrible on this game. That wasn't a yellow card. Yeah, had to bring Schubert out, and he did well in the end. Because, yeah, maybe he went a bit too far, but... Nice play from Trippier. Now Pedri bursting forward. Castro with acres of space. Pedri for the hat-trick. Oh, it's wide. How did Pedri miss? And we'll make some subs now. We are going to bring on Viev for Modric. And we're going to take off Modric, who's looking a bit tired, for Diaby. So yeah, just the two subs today. We did the same in the last match, just because we've got a lot of tired bodies. So we want to give those on the bench a rest anyway. We've got a week's... Um, Sort of grace after this match between the league match and the Copa del Rey. I can't quite remember who it's against. So it should be back fully fit in the next one. Nice play from Vieira. Just come on. And he's already intercepted it. Nice day from Martinelli. Now back at Back to Martinelli. Ah, Ruben Castro's just offside. Yeah, well, quite clearly wasn't that close. I mean, Pedri's got to be man of the match, but I would say Modric surely has got to be a close second. Nice play from Castro there. Castro again. <laughs> it's a lovely strike. Started off the move, and then he's on the end of it. And after a relatively quiet game from Castro, he's still got two goals, and that's what's so good about him. He's, he's normally heavily involved, especially with the link of play, holding up the ball, laying out to the wingers, etc. But he's just such a good finisher. He doesn't have to have too many chances. That's two goals today. Keeper gets a hand on it, but uh, not strong enough. And that's a bit more like it. 5-1. Very clear of them. Obviously, we let, we let that goal, which was very poor from our point of view. That's another clean sheet we've avoided. Um, not that we want to. Here's Pedri. Martinelli. That's a foul. Pedri was on his way in for the 1-2. And how is that not yellow when I got a yellow earlier? I don't know. Now then, Trippier with a chance here. Oh, what a goal that is. 25 yards out from Trippier. Brilliant free kick. Absolutely perfect. Top corner. Over them, round the wall. Beautiful strike. Oh, Trippier is so good at the free kicks. He's already scored. Do you know what? I remember when I... Before I started the Master League, I played PES 2021 just to get used to it a little bit. Just some friendlies. I played as Newcastle. Um, just with some friendlies because that's my, my team is Newcastle. Um, and obviously Trippier plays for them. And I think one of my very first matches, it might have been like the second or third match, I scored a free kick with Trippier. 
and it took me a long time to get to get another one um, and now he's sort of come full circle now because I've got him back at well not back at the squad I've got him back with me as a regen um, in the Master League and he's already scored maybe three in the Master League I want to say I think it's like that um, and I've scored goals of others as well like Vieira Oof, just deflects flex over uh, Kangali, I think Mudrick scored one as well. But Trippier is so far above anyone else in terms of technique and, and free kick accuracy. Um, I nearly thought about take, letting Pedri take it just because he's on a hat-trick and he's on an up. But good choice to uh, keep Trippier. What a goal, though. It's so... in Because I, I don't score them that much, it just makes them even more enjoyable when you do. Anyway, it's 6-1. I oh, had to pull a pass there. Martinelli could have been in. Pass was just short. Oh, what a tackle there from Guardiol. Sliding in, but it was controlled. Nice touch there from the uh, whoever that was. Nice play. Now DRB. Oh, that's poor. Definitely wasn't a foul. Great defending there. Trippier keeps it out. Four corner. Didn't manage to retain it, but um, just a throw in. He is definitely going to be our number one right back for many years to come. You know, we made that decision a while back to sell Emerson, who was, you know, at the time, I think he was 83 overall rated. He was one of our top players in terms of overall rating. Oh, really nice play. And Pedri, oh, what a strike, but the keeper gets a hand on it. Yeah, we sold Emerson, and it was definitely the right decision. We've now got Trippier, we've got Debussy out on loan, and we've got Asbola Quetta. As a, as a backup. And there it is. 6-1. Pedri with a double. Castro with a double. And what a free kick from Trippier. Surprisingly, Castro got man of the match. But it just goes to show how good he is. But two magnificent goals from Pedri. Especially that second one. Trippier with an amazing free kick. And it just goes to show, like I said earlier, the difference between this game and the last game where we really struggled against Atletico Madrid. There was hardly any quality in the game. Today has just been full of absolutely brilliant goals. Great team play. Look at all of those 7s and 7.5s. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And that's it for today, guys. That's just what I want. I know it's lots of goals and it's probably not that realistic that there's so many goals when we play these games. But I just like the entertaining football and I like the end-to-end -end stuff. Even if we're letting in goals, the quality today was absolutely brilliant. Some of the goals in there were some of the best in the season so far. But join us next time. We're in the Copa del Rey against Real Sociedad. Hopefully we can get through to that. And as you can see, a big crunch die coming up in a few weeks' time. Champions League, Bayern Munich away, the first leg there. That's going to be a big crunch tie. If you can hit that like button, drop a comment down below to let me know what you think of the video and the channel overall and what sort of games are you playing at the moment. And if you can subscribe to keep up to date with the channel, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.